and every recipe needs a little salt and that salt is almost too much to bear on its own but if you're to leave it out of the whole recipe it's not the same and so I kind of feel like that's what this combination of difficulty and success is so pause and say thank you all so incredibly much for your comments on my last video. I've read through them all and some of them twice and it has meant so much to me so thank you guys so very much. I host a virtual small farmer meetup once a month and I'd really love to see some of you there. It's a totally free event that I use just to create stronger connections with the people I meet here on YouTube. So click on the link down below and please sign up. I'd love to see you there and to thank you in person. Today is all my sheep's due date. Right now there's one in labor. She is the one I thought had triplets. I think she might just be fat. I'm getting all kinds of smartness from everybody around me. Telling me to calm down. All right, so if you watch a previous video, you'll see that we had a couple of early birds and I made the false assumption that those early birds meant that the rest were coming, that everybody bred in the first go around and that there wouldn't be this much space between lambing. So sheep breed in like 17 day cycles. And so from that first lamb that came, the twins that came, it's been 17 days. And so today I'm seeing one that has its water broke just a couple minutes ago. And then there are a couple others kind of pawing around. So we're gonna be watching them. I have this horrible feeling in, in me that I overfed in the last trimester and we've got some big lambs coming out. We lost that stillbirth. It was to a first time ewe, and when I pulled it, it was probably like 12 or 13 pounds, unless I'm over exaggerating. And that's just really big, especially for a first timer. And then I pulled two others. And that is just unheard of for our flock. I, I've not been participating in any lambings previous to this, but we've had two lambings on site, and. I, my mom said, she said, you don't have to do this. You don't have to pull dorpers like this. Um, so that brought me around to do a little research and I think I just overfed on the protein supplement in the last trimester and we've got big lambs. So we're gonna be extra, extra careful, be watching them today, help anything that needs to be helped, so. So a general rule is that once you see the water bag, you should see a lamb within 45 minutes. So I've literally set the timer on my phone and maybe a week ago, 10 days ago, I would not have been this crazy, but my suspicion over the two big lambs um, has me, I'm gonna be watching them like a hawk. She's pushing a ton.
can you see where it's stuck up? Or? Yeah. Similar scenario as last time. It's just the. All right, so that was a good one, but it was an hour and 20 minutes out and then once I got in I really had to work to clear the head to get out So but I'm really glad she's looking good So he has been out for an, about an hour and a half, but he's not getting up on his feet. And typically when I see him get up, you know, in like 30 minutes or so. The mom's being really good. She's got him all cleaned off. She's super attentive. I'm gonna get him a shot of Nutri Drench, which is kind of, it's that vitamin supplement that I showed you guys in a previous video. It's totally safe for lambs. In fact, some people give it to lambs just routinely after birth. Um, but I'm going to give him a shot of that and see if that gives him a little energy to get up on his feet. Got another girl going down right now. He's not a first timer like the last one, so I'm really hoping there's not going to be any need for help with her. So she just went down about 10 minutes ago. He's making really, really good progress. We see two hoofs, and so I think she should do it herself. I really hope she will. So lambing continues, pardon the non-orange headgear. Our biggest U, is this Pearl or is this 42? 42. Yeah, this is 42. Big as a barn, she just dropped one. And I sure hope she has more than just one in there, otherwise she is way overweight. I would be so amazed if she is a single mom. But that water bag says maybe there's more. So she just did twins all by herself. I know sheep should do it all by themselves no matter what, but it's been such a season. And it just feels so good to see them do it like they should. But they're good healthy sized lambs. And they're up and at it. So I had one that started to lamb about 40, 30, 45 minutes ago. And this huge rain shower just washed over. Went to check on her, she had two hoofs out. Looks like it's going okay. But she's, since, since the rain started, they all crowded into the corral. She was right in there in the middle of them. So I'm gonna go check and see if she's given herself some space to finish the process. Uh. 
Okay, so what we did was we have that uh, separate side of the corral over here still covered, but we went ahead and we moved all of the sheep that weren't in labor, which is all but one, um, over there. But now she's got plenty of space to finish it out on her own. Uh, she was getting super irritable in that close quarters. So everything looks like it's coming out normally. Two hooves. I don't see a nose or anything yet, but she should have at least the opportunity to to do what she needs to do. So. Oh, she had twins. Oh, good job. Had twins. Um, she was one great. Charlie and Phil, we're not supposed to name them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's too hard not to when he's got Charlie funny and look Phil. Like Everybody's that. telling me I should name them, but I can't. Except for I did name shrimp. Yeah, shrimp. You had to name. Shrimp. Had to name shrimp. Okay, let's get a product plug in here. Raise chickens, build soil. Raise chickens, build soil. Raise chickens, build soil. Raise sheep, build soil. How many farms? Blog. How many farms? No, shopshepherdist.com. Shopshepherdist.com. Yep, it's it's the new thing. Shopshepherdist.com. Oh. Okay. Well, they can find it on both places, but it's easier to find it at shopshepherdist.com. Okay. Yeah. They always say that a watched pot never boils, and so we left her. I think she's about 50 minutes. I was like. We were watching her, so I was like, we gotta give her all the rest of the time with nobody watching her because, you know, just in case there was something to that. And so we left and came back about 15 or 20 minutes later and she had had twins, two rams. One of them has the most unique markings I think I've ever seen. He's got white like all the way up to his head. My paracord. I'm <laughs> prepared for an emergency. <laughs> But he's got white on his head, all the way up his head, and then on his ears, which for the Dorper breed, that's not a really good thing to breed. He's not going to be a breeder ram. But I thought it's really, really unique looking. So it'll be fun to watch him grow out and see that on pasture. But one of them will be a meat guy, and then the other one is, looks like a dynamic little ram. We might be stuck all night. We're trying to figure out how we're going to get back up to the house. cheesecake so I had to run back to the house. So this is why this is why I don't name them because shrimp is my favorite now. <laughs>